In part one of Lightworkers and their purpose for us, we are going to discuss the five main, or most commonly known, I should say, types of lightworkers. There are actually more than five, but today I am only going to talk about the five main ones that I always refer to in my psychic development courses. I will be doing a part two in the near future to discuss other light workers and their purpose for humanity on this planet. Number one are the psychics. These light workers are the seers and work primarily out of their third eye and higher chakras and can see and remote view in between the veils. These light workers would be our clairvoyants, remote viewers of the past, present, and future, mediums, Akashic readers, oracle and tarot readers, and many more, with the multitudes of energy that is always surrounding them from all the realms, they are often highly sensitive and empathic. Number two are the healers. These light workers are here to heal the planet and everything residing on it, from nature to animals and all types of beings, including earth, spiritual, and star beings. They help us to heal mentally, physically, and spiritually through all types of healing modalities, from Reiki to crystal and chakra balancing and many more. Everyone thinks that all light workers are healers, but in reality, they are their own separate type of light worker. But other light workers can rely on the healers for the emotional healing from empathy. Even though healers are often empaths as well, but have learned to self heal. Their purpose is not to be relied upon but to teach self-love and self-healing, and through that you can evolve in a positive light. Without the healers, it would be most difficult for psychics to complete their purpose here on this planet. Number three are the transmuters. These light workers transmute negative energy and darkness into positive energy and light. Transmuters mainly work on an ancestral level as they take negative karma from past lives and ancestral lines and dissolve it so that you can heal and raise your vibration to a higher frequency. As healers work more on an individual level to heal the individual, the transmuters work more on a collective level to help all of humanity. Number four are the messengers. These light workers receive messages from the higher realms, such as the spirit realm. These would be your deceased loved ones, earthbounds, and ghost realm. The angelic realm, including the Akashic and the Archangels, the elders and ascended masters, and the galactic realm meaning communication from other planetary worlds, but mostly they receive communication from their higher self, meaning they are acquiring their internal guidance through their own awakening, experiences, and universal knowledge, made available to them through their higher guidance from the spiritual realms. And number five are the gatekeepers. These light workers open doorways and interdimensional gateways that allow higher levels of love and light to come in. These light workers work closely with grid workers, who we will discuss more in part two. These light workers can create previously non existent gateways and doors out of darkness, but if need be, they can also open already existing doors and gateways that were once closed due to a variety of reasons such as developmental procrastination or stagnation. Like I mentioned before, there are many different types of light workers and I will discuss more of them in part two. Again, I just wanted to go over the main five I talk about in my psychic development courses. If you would like to learn more about me and my abilities or how I can help you in your development, just go to tessalunaluvia.com or you can listen to my podcast that I upload weekly on Spotify. I will have all the links in the description. Namaste.